So now that the seating has my weight so far back, this can't actually support me on a standstill anymore. I can like balance on the front, but then there's no way of getting it to the back to drive it without flipping it. So I have to start either from a tuck or a jet ski. And yeah, it's a whole new skill I'm having to learn to ride this thing. See how it goes once the waves die down and try to rip off from this dock. So we ended up getting a ton of water in the computer box down in Lake Powell. So we couldn't run it as much as we wanted to. So we're headed to a new lake today. We're going to run the motorcycle a bunch more. I've modified it a little bit. The steering nozzle is now pointed up a little bit. So it'll be a little trimmed up, which you see was already pretty hoppity before. But now it'll be maybe even more jumpy. I'm hoping with the nozzle trimmed up like that, it'll wheelie a lot more. So that'll be fun. And also we'll maybe jump some wakes. And I'll handle that good. I also closed up our engine hood considerably. So it only is picking up air to the engine through this little slot. Before this, this came out straight and this whole top gap was open. So like whenever the motorcycle would tip over, a ton of water would rush in there immediately.
Docker jet ski, but we're not to that point yet. We're going to try off the back of this jet ski now. Venturi going, it'll suck the water out. I don't know, it might be going down. Let's tow it to shore and drain it. Okay. <laughs> I want to hit more surf wakes. Yeah, that one, you got one. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that one jump felt so good. You might want to adjust that real quick, honey, if you can. <laughs> Is there a knot in it? It's caught in the little <laughs> Just go, Aaron. What's this up for right? Alright, go. Hunter, grab your flip flop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so heavy, we can hardly get it on the shore. Someone doing the drain plugs right now, and that'll let part of the water out, and then we can heat it the rest of the way up. It's remarkable how much water rushes in to that engine hood up top when it flips over. <laughs> Nice seat. <laughs> hey, yeah, wait here for a minute. Looks like a toilet. Let's uh, give the engine a little test fire. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Let's see. A little bit coming out the exhaust there. Yeah, maybe a little water's in the bottom end run right now, but sort itself out. Forces some water past the rains. Wow. Oh. Battery's dying. I'm trying to kick there a couple times. Need a little water droplets to get out the spark plugs. Uh, Connor, do you have a crescent wrench in your truck? Yeah. Okay. Do you have jumper cables? Let's make a trip back to the ramp. <laughs> Try to service this thing. Is this one of those modern motorcycles with no kickstart? <laughs> yes, yes. No kickstart on these new models. Ridiculous. We have water in back here now. 
this back metal is super flimsy. When I connected it right here with this little bracket after the last run, but even then it's still peeling apart right here. So I might swap this back section for some thicker metal. I do like to stand back here anyways for getting the weight really back for the wheelies, but we make little modifications every time. Every time we take it out, we learn new things, we make it better. What the test tube's about. Matt, ready? <laughs> ready! Got it! I got some nice dirty water in, in between our spark plug gap. This one's pretty clean at the moment, so I'm gonna blow these off. Yeah, be ready, Trevor. <laughs> them out quite a bit. <laughs> Can't see anything out of these. Get ready, prepared. Oh yeah.
<laughs> if any of you are in Utah and have a surf boat and want to help me build a big old party wave to jump with the motorcycle, hit me up in my Instagram DMs, please. Thank you. <laughs>